Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Helen. Today I'm sharing the steps on how to rent an apartment in Toronto. When I came to Toronto, I uh, rented a room. I simply joined Facebook groups and I just posted there that I'm looking for a master bedroom in this area. If anybody uh, has a room available, please let me know. And that's how I got the room. But after getting a job, I decided to move to my own apartment and that's what I'm going to talk about today. First thing to rent an apartment on your own, you need to have a job. If you don't have a job, it's hard for landlords to trust you because you can't prove that you have an income and um, it is not impossible, but it will be difficult unless you show that you have um, like large amount of money in your bank account and you are willing to pay in advance. Maybe in that case, they will agree to rent the apartment to you. Let's say you have a job and now what you need to do? Well, you need to look up the areas or choose the area that you want to live in. How you determine that? Well, you will choose that area based on your preferences. Like if you want to live in a crowded area, that would be downtown or midtown. If you want to live in less crowded area and more quiet area, you will have to go to uptown or further out of downtown. You can also determine where you want to live based on your school, college or university and your work. And that is solely your choice if you want to be close to your work or you don't mind traveling to work for like one hour or more. Previously, I did a video on what is the cost of living in Toronto. If you haven't watched that, I will put the link somewhere here. You can click on that and watch it. I talk about different types of accommodation, different types of apartments. I don't want to explain again here. Today, I am talking about condo apartments. So when you want to rent a condo apartment, you can either search online there will be websites like viewit.ca or kgg.ca that will help you to find your desired apartment. There is another way of finding an apartment and that is using a realtor or a real estate agent. I personally like to use real estate agents because they are experts and they know which places or which neighborhood are best to rent an apartment. Also, there is no charge for tenant when renting an apartment. Normally realtors get paid by landlords, not by tenants. That's a great opportunity that you have someone to help you out and uh, find the best spot for you at no charge. Another advantage of finding your apartment with realtor is that you don't really have to deal with the paperwork. They will do everything for you. You can ask questions along the way and they are experts and they're the best people to give you the right information. So I highly suggest you find a realtor to work with and how you find a realtor. You can ask someone's recommendation or you can simply search the realtors on Google and look up their reviews and then choose from there. Another way of finding a realtor is to go to realtor.ca or download a realtor app. And uh, if you search on that app or on the website for one bedroom apartment in downtown, there will be a list of options for you. And if you click on any of those options, there will be a realtor name uh, that you can call and ask for help to go see the unit. Now let's move on to the third step and that is getting your documents ready. What documents you will need to show to your landlord so landlord will trust you as a tenant. The first and most important one is to get your credit report. You need to visit equifax.ca and uh, sign in and get your credit report from there. Second document is your employment letter that says you work for this company and since this day to current and you get blah blah amount of income. Another document is your pay stops or paychecks to prove that you have this much of income. And last document which is optional is a reference letter from your previous landlord. If you rented a place before you better ask for a reference letter and show that to your new landlord. So that will help for your new landlord to trust you. 
And as I mentioned, if you work with a realtor, you don't have to deal with your landlord. Your realtor will get all the documents from you and submit it to your landlord. And then they will come up with a yes or no answer if they are willing to rent it to you or not. And if they said the yes, then that's it. You will have a date to move in in your contract. Remember, you and your application or request to rent can be ignored or denied by your landlord based on your level of income or any other reason that they might have to refuse to rent their unit to you. So be prepared for that and don't get disappointed and keep looking for other units. Usually landlords ask for checks in advance, which means that you have to write them 12 checks for 12 months ahead of time. So on the moving day, you will meet with your landlord and your realtor will be there to help you out. You will write 12 checks and give it to your landlord and receive the key. And you just have to clean your apartment and unpack. And that's all about renting apartments in city of Toronto. Okay, we came to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please show me by liking this video and please subscribe to my channel to support me to create more of these contents and videos for you in future. Until next time, bye.